Hello, Michael here from Small Robot Studio with another Render Man 23 tutorial. Today we're going to be having a look at how I set up the materials for the whiskey bottle that you will see here in the start of the video. Um, it's pretty straightforward, so we'll get straight into it. So we've got the geometry here. I'm not going to go through the modeling aspect of it. It's fairly straightforward. If you uh, are unsure of how to model it, I could make a tutorial for it, but um, there are plenty of how to model bottle tutorials out there. But um, I'll just go through a couple of things that are worth noting. If you haven't already seen the Pixar glass tutorial, make sure you check that out because it is important to the way this is handled. Uh, but what I'll point out is that we've got an outside layer of the glass and an inside layer. And then we've got this liquid material and the edge of it intersects the two layers of the glass. And that's important for it to look realistic when we render it up. Also important is to have a little bit of viscosity on the top of the um, water or the liquid layer there. So you can see that the edge comes up just slightly above the outside there. Um, a little bit easier to see if I turn that off. There we go. Set those to vertex normal. So those are all fixed up now. So yeah, so you'll see the um, edge there has got a little bit of a lip. And when we subdivide it, you'll see it there again. Um, so that's important for when we render you because the when the liquid meets the edge of the glass it does come up slightly have a look at some water in a glass you'll see that for yourself now this is a fairly basic um, material setup but i'll just take you through it pretty quickly so what we'll do is we'll uh, select our bottle and we'll right click on the uh, surface shader button and then we'll select pixar layer surface so what the layer surface is going to consist of for us is two layers a base layer which is going to be the glass and a um, label that's going to be masked for the label of the whiskey. So we'll call this glass and we'll call this label and we'll set the glass to a glass material by disabling the diffuse and enabling the glass lobe, setting the refraction the reflection gain all the way up and the reflect refractive index can be 1.5. Now for this to work um, you are going to need UVs on your bottle. I've already UV'd this one and I'll see you, show you how I did it. Um, I actually UV'd the outside separately. So what you'll see here is that the inside is not really UV'd and these aren't very good UVs mind you but I only want them for the label so I'm not really too fussed on it. But the way you can do that is you could actually build the inside of your glass bottle separately um, or or if you're extruding you could just detach it and then um, use a cylindrical UV like so and UV your bottle and then do the um, inside separately or not UV at all and you could recombine them or keep them separate that's up to you most of the time that seam if you just cut it there at the top will be hidden by the uh, lid of the bottle so it's a pretty quick way to do it and you know obviously that's not ideal but it is fine for what we're working with because the only part of it we're using is this little spot here for the label really if I was doing stuff with the lid and the underside then yeah obviously I'd want to do a better job than that We'll look at our UV layout in Photoshop. So what you'll see here is the diffuse um, layout and you've got the UV lines over the top there or underneath as it were. And all that's going to be visible here for our diffuse channel is this label here and then this um, color here which is sort of the lid which is a bit waxy. Um, I've also created a bump map so this is the bump mat that I actually exported. So it does have a little bit of inset on those pieces of text. Um, you'll see that I blurred the outside of the small robot distillery that's going to be on the glass. That's so we get a bit of a gradation up to the um, text rather than just a hard line. And then the um, top part where the lid is going to be is, a, uh, is bumped at 100% as well. So it just looks like it's sticking out a bit because it's kind of like a little... Um, if you've ever seen this particular bottle or a whiskey bottle like it, it's sort of like a little bit of a wrap around the lid itself. So having seen the label, the only other thing is the mask, and you'll see that I've got the mask here. I actually believe I had to invert this. I'll show you in a second. Um, but yeah, so what's happening is um, the areas that are white are going to be the glass areas, and the areas that are black are going to be the label areas. And Render Man will read this to know which areas should be which. And how that works is when you go into your label, 
We'll just make our label um, red for the moment and we'll bring in our PXR texture and it's already been converted to .txt so we'll just have a look at that and run the result. I'm just going to run the result RGBR into the layer 1 mask and then we'll just pop in a light so we can see and have a render. Yep, so you see that if I find the Obviously I've got that around the wrong way, so that's easy to fix. We'll just bring up the hypershade again, get that out of the way, um, and use an invert. Just run that result RGB in there, and then the result RGBR into the layer mask. So this is going to invert it, so it's correct. So if you ever do that wrong, obviously, it's just quick to invert if you need. Alright, so now we can see that that top part is masked off, and we should be able to find the label. There you go, there's the label. So that's very easily visible. I'll hide the liquid because we don't need to see it just yet. Okay, so let's get the label in. So just another PXI texture. And we're just going to run the result RGBR into the diffuse color. And we'll open our texture file for our um, diffuse channel, which I called Albedo in this case, which essentially is the same thing. So now we render and it should show up with the label which it does. I'm going to simplify our light setup so it's a little bit easier to see what's happening. All right that makes it a little bit easier to see. So we see we've got a glass, we've got our lid and we've got our label. Um, okay so the next thing that we're going to set up is the bump map. So we will now we want to add our bump into our material. We don't want to have the bump plugged into the label though because it's masked off. We actually want to bump the base layer which is going to bump everything. And the reason we're doing that is because we have bump mats applied to our label and to our glass because we've got that um, that glass protrusion there. So I'll show you what that looks like. And we'll grab another PXR texture. And we will open up our bump. And then we'll run that into PXR bump. using the result RGPR into the input bump, the result N into the glass. Um, that's going to be bump, normal. All right, and then so you can see the um, glass has now got that protrusion, and then as that um, top part renders in, you'll see that bumps out a little bit as well. That is much too bumpy to begin with though, so we'll probably just have it at like 0.1 or maybe even less. And I'm actually going to use the it previewer for this. All right, so you see now that the uh, letters there are bumping outward. It's not literally bumping outward, it's only bumping out in a two-dimensional way, um, but it does add quite a nice effect to it. And one of the next tutorials, we're going to go over lighting so you get a good effect of that, but you can see that it's already with very little effort starting to come together. So now if we reintroduce our liquid, we can start to add the material to that, which will finalize it. So that is pretty straightforward. It is just a pixel surface, and there's going to be the liquid and no diffuse, glass lobe, same thing as glass. We want the roughness can be zero and the refraction color can be an amber color. Now obviously this works for whiskey but if you had beer or something like that you could change the color to whatever you want, wine. And there we go, we start to get our whiskey coming together quite nicely. Now in one of the next tutorials I'm going to talk about lighting this, um, but this was just the material setup for you, pretty straightforward. Very easy to set up with the pixel layer surface to get some fairly realistic results. That's it for this tutorial. If you found it useful make sure you leave a like so other people can find it and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe as we're bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week just like this one. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord and more by clicking the link below.